Hey everyone, it's the news, which is always, always fun and exciting. Um, uh, but first off, my best news today that I have to share is that I, I saw my favorite lizard this morning, so he's alive and well. Um, I got a picture of him. i um, going to share it. Check him out. Now, I know I said that he is like this awesome, vibrant, lime green half body and then like pinkish orangish tail um and it's kind of hard to see all that in this picture it could be because it's just my crappy iphone camera um dude i have a success because i hate change so that's what i'm about um anyway the other thing could be that and it's the best iphone ever or, you know our group arguably of course but anybody with a success who still has a success i know agrees with me all right moving on from that um, it's also possible, and it just occurred to me, that my sunglasses are blue, like they, the, the lenses on them are blue. Um, so I see the world in, in so much more vibrancy. So like blues are even bluer, greens are just like shockingly green. Um, anyway, it's possible that seen through other eyes, this lizard is not as cool as I think. I see him but that's okay he's still my favorite lizard and I was a little worried about him because um, when I came home like the other day I guess like a few days ago I saw a, a wood runner a wood runner a road runner which um, are pretty common out here chaparral um, but they are probably huge predators um, lizards so um, it made me a little nervous because I hadn't seen him for a while and then road runner was hanging out by the house so um, anyway, not to cook cliche, but, um, there are also coyotes in these parts and, um, there's so many like droppings in the driveway all the time and of some animal, I don't know what, but it's, it's obvious that they're swarming my house, um, at night. Maybe they're trying to get my cats. I don't know. Anyway, moving on to the news because that's what you're here for if you haven't left yet. So let's go look at, see what it is. I didn't see. I averted my eyes um, to that one that shoved itself in my face. Actually, in order to properly do the, do the news, we need to go a couple news news items back because um, there were a couple like random announcements that came out during the week. So first of all, first off, this one: the 40 million download for Rainbow Guaranteed Summon. Another mouthful. Anything with a 40 million download is just such a mouthful for me um but as i understand this for 9000k you get a pretty good um pretty good pool opportunity if you have 9k just like hanging around to spend um and can can pull guaranteed four star rainbows or four star <laughs> guaranteed four rainbows which are all from 2019 so we've seen what that group of units looks like we saw that um earlier when we had those Special tickets, you know, I'm not going to talk about that anymore, but, um, cut to the chase, cut to the chase. Um, you can get four rainbows from that group, possibly more. Some people have been pulling more. I've seen, I've seen that and in, in, uh, the results. So anyway, something to think about if, if you really love those 2019 units, I won't be pulling on this because I am saving my lapas for um, a couple units that I desperately, desperately want, which are coming out around the corner. To reiterate, Treasure Hunter Lock and um, uh, Prince Noctis. So, or CG Noctis. I'm not even sure if his name is Prince Noctis or not, but um, I just, I, I, I have to have them, so. All my lapis is on hold. Um, anyway, it's something to think about if that appeals to you because that's a pretty good deal. Um, lapis to rainbow ratio, pretty decent. The other thing to talk about is that there's going to be a live stream event in New York City for all of those who would like to buy a ticket and attend that event. Um, once there's an event close by to me, I will for sure attend it. Um, at this point, I'm not going to buy it a plane ticket to New York, but I, it'd probably be a lot of fun. Um, maybe in the future. We'll see. But, um, uh, just, just in case you live in the area or 
you have discretionary income or you just, I don't know, whatever. That's there for you. Um, so let's get into the current news. Hold on, right now. Um, it's still Wednesday. You heard her here last. Um, introducing the five star guaranteed 30% featured ticket Final Fantasy 2 Summon Banner. Okay, guys, Final Fantasy 2 is taking center stage. It's the like Wild Rose Furion and Dark Knight Leon. Um, this is great for me. <laughs> this is actually. This is great news. This is great, great news. Um, I don't know who's excited about this or not, but again, I've got a goal in mind and I'm keeping my eye on the prize. So these guys don't, don't tempt me. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. We could find out that they're like completely meta breaking and you know, I'm just not a meta chaser and it's easy, easy for me to just like sit tight and not, not get all like, you know, um, attempted or anything. So, this is great. Mm. You get those summon tickets just as we always do, and then you can go summon them and that summon thing. So, you all know how to do that, right? If you don't, probably go look it up on somebody else's uh, site or uh, stuff like that. Because I'm not really very helpful. Alright, exchange shop. For that guy, Furion, and Dark Knight Leon. Okay, the exchange shop is gonna give you a chance to take your summon coins and get Furion's Prism, Leon's Prism, and all those things that are in there. So remember those prisms is like the backup way when you pull a five star to like make sure you can still seven star them. So don't forget about that. I've made the mistake in the past of um, pursuing units probably further than I needed to pursue them because totally didn't keep in mind the, the prism or I didn't even use the, the prism system as um, effectively as I could efficiently as I could um, so don't forget that if you are going after these guys all right guaranteed five star special summon ticket again one of these basically five EX tickets that you only have a limited time to use so don't um don't miss out i guess um on getting one five star out of the entire unit summon pool which may or may not be good but it's still a free five star so i'm down with that um there's an event starting in 10-4 we can get one of these cool moving up monthly Five star sum select summon tickets. Okay, that's right. We just started a new month. It's October. The month where I will disappear into holiday or Halloween holiday uh, cooking extravaganza. So you may or may not see me this month. I don't know yet. I don't know what's going to look like. It's always, this month is always super ugly for me. So I don't know what's going to look like. We'll figure it out, right? Okay, so there's an event starting this Friday, right? 10 4. Is that this Friday? Yeah, I think so. And one on 10 24. So, so maybe, does that mean we're maybe going to get another story event? We're going to get something else, I guess, I think, towards the end of the month. That's like a totally around my party time, too. 10 to 4, because I don't like to have my party on Halloween, actual Halloween, because, you know, people have kids, and that's a you know, family holiday. So, Oh man, shoot. Um, this month's gonna be dicey. Alright. Versus raid. Ooh, so, this is kind of like what we're talking about. Um, continuation of the Dragon Quest 11 event. So, three new highly difficult quests. Versus raid. Forces of Darkness. Uh, versus Invignus. And versus Chalasmos. Shoot. Alright, so I've got about a week to get this done. Malicious Killing Machine. Malicious Back Dragon. Uh, we're just not even going to go through these things. You guys can read these. Uh, hopefully. 
and you can also read them or hire a reader for when you go into the event and actually do it. But if you do these things, if you complete this, you get one or three. Three highly difficult quests. All right, um, let me see two. Okay, so Uber Falcon Blade. Uh, normal attack two times. That's that's weird, but like, why would anybody ever use a normal attack? That's kind of just bizarre. But all right, and it boosts your LB kill kill rate, which is high tide, right? Automatic high tide on your sword. Um, so that's fine. And Drazilian guineas. You know how we like the currency. Um, okay, that kind of stuff. And then there's this guy in Dignus, looking super buffed up and totally like basically like the buffed up most evil cane you've ever seen that's what it reminds me of like with with his like wrestling gear on um wow all right so he's all right yeah wait, wait, wait we don't have to read this yet we don't it doesn't matter um oh man but you get stmr mool exchange tickets Sweet. Nice. Um, I wonder how many, oh, five. Yeah, I totally can. Uh, I can't just read the, uh, the writing there. Um, five. So, Drizzlian Guineas. Sweet. Um, stuff. Okay. And then, Kalasmos. Oh, man, that guy's silly. He's real silly. Dragon Quest Eleven, or I should just say Dragon Quest. I mean, it's the entire franchise. Has the silliest monsters ever. Like, it's the charm of the series, for sure. But Dragon Quest XI, man, those lips, they're the jet, you know, it's an enemy called, like, lips or something like that. And it's just, like, giant lips on, like, a bobbing and weaving cucumber. It's, it's super weird, super silly. But that's the charm. So, anyway, read about this guy if you want to go fight him. Um, you'll get Rod. Um, called the Sacrosanct Staff, so... That's unusual and confusing, but um, they'll still boost physical and magic damage against demons, so that's fine. That's a decent magic stat. Can't can't snub that. Oh, and high spirit as well. All right, and high attack. Wow. Hmm. So, and I guess it's one-handed. I'm assuming. So this could be good for a hybrid build, a hybrid dual wheel build. I guess. Look at me all trying to be like smart and helpful. Uh, don't ever, don't ever listen to me. Okay. And then moving on, there's there's our poor heroes that are locked up that we can't get to um, very easily. But it seems like some of you guys are, are unlocking them and getting to them, so I'm happy for you. Uh, unit Interquest. All right, Wild Rose Furion. A man who joins the rebel army led by Finn's own Princess Zelda to the Palmyrian Empire. He has toyed with continually a cruel fate, but never do his eyes stray from his goal. You really need me to read that, didn't you? Alright, so he's got a CG limit burst move. Movie. Oof. <laughs> Sorry, it's Javier. Um, so go watch that movie, get some lapis, <gasps> and some kill sniper from him, he's my favorite. And all that. Mm. And then feature summon from Fancy 2. So, like, I need more Maria and Guy in my life. I really don't need more Maria and Guy in my life. Oh, and I can't even like be happy for this because. Wait. Ugh, man, these guys. Maria loves me. Guy too. I don't know why. I don't do anything to deserve it. Alright, so here's your banner. Two five stars and two, like, nobody wants them. Nobody ever wanted them. Sorry, maybe you did. Maybe maybe back in the day. Okay, but let's just talk about lately. When you pull a bunch of these blues and, and get Maria, who's as soon as, like, absolutely, you know, completely unhelpful. And Kai, what is his? 
Oh, uh, Hill Digger. The reason I know that is because I have so many of them. <sighs> Alright, so that's fine. Um, it's totally fine. Um, step up summon. 5, 10, 15, 20, 24. Okay, 24k for a lap. Trade 140 S coins for a prism. How many coins do we get from doing a lap? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Go two laps, so that's 48k lapis, and then you can get a prism. So by that point, you will have two of the same unit, one of each unit, and a prism to complete the task on at least one of them. Um, thanks, Captain Obvious. Um, anyhow, okay. Oh wait, what do you? What else do we get? Um, oh, that ticket system, right? The ticket system that they told us about before, where you can use it to get one of your choice, which. I'm assuming is like five. Isn't five usually the number? So we get three in one lap. You'll have six by the end. So 48k and you're gonna... All your dreams will come true with these two characters. Except for their STMRs, unless you get lucky. So, speaking of that... Hmm. Wild, Fearian, Wild Rose Furian's getting a global upgrade. Weapons Specialist. Boost attack by 60%. Boost physical damage against humans and avian and stone monsters. So you get some killers and some attack mass. Mm -hmm. Red sword, two-handed. Enable blood weapon. Train hit points when dealing physical damage. Train hit points of ourselves or of the monster. And either is kind of dumb. But alright, whatever. Um I don't really see the point in kind of evaluating these units right here because we there's so many that's so many things that are not filled in here, so we have no idea what's really going on with the rest of their kit. But we just know that they're getting a, um, an upgrade, so there's that. Alright, so then moving on, we see Dark Knight Leon, who actually I think has a kind of a pretty cool sprite. Um, I prefer it to Furion's, to be honest. But, um, alright, so, so his SDMR has the authority of any Dark Knight to boost attack by 50% when equipped with sword and boost attack by 50% when equipped with heavy armor. Um, could be useful. Meh. Nothing that like screams at me like I super super want it. Uh, TMR is to defend a, it's a sword that enables shielding bleed. Boost defense by 20%. And chance of evading some physical attacks. We'll see how much. It says global upgrade so maybe it's like chance of evading by 50%. Let's see. Don't quote me on that. That sh should know. I mean, PSA. Don't ever quote me on anything. Alright, so... Maria. <sighs> yeah, we know you've got Asuna. Super, super not useful. Guy, same with you. I mean, the Hell Digger, I have used it. I'll be honest, but... Come on, you guys. We don't want you back. We don't want any additional boost to getting you... Uh, um, alright, so there was no Dragon Quest Part 2 in the way I was hoping might be the case. I think that, you know, we've had some discussion in the comments, and um, I think probably the, the right answer that was suggested is that um, the Part 2 for Dragon Quest Eleven will probably come out around the time when these units get buffed. So, thank you um, for that, that foresight. Um, I, I think... The problem is, you know, um, I, mean, I have no idea how the contract was written for, for the collaboration, but, you know, the, the, the problem is that um, it's just like Kingdom Hearts, where you, you can't quite, you can't quite finish, you're not quite done yet, so that's why, you know, you're holding off on maybe Eric's super buffed and, and Jasper's, they're just too buff for our global world, so hold up on those guys, um, but I'll be curious to see if, if when they do, if they do make it um, to global, if there is going to be an extra chance to get either prisms for those three original heroes or a chance at getting those original heroes again. So I don't know, I just speculate. Again, you don't quote me on anything, right? Um, but I would like to see that in the future. So as far as Final Fantasy II goes, eh, dude, 
We used to make fun of these games when we were kids. Like, Final Fantasy 2 and 3 made fun of them so much because it was just like, you know, butts and, and Final Fantasy 3. And basically, like, we didn't get an opportunity to play 2 and 3 until um, way after we had played um, 4 and 6 because um, they just weren't released in, in the States. So, um, 4 and 6 are just so tremendously better in my opinion. So um, it was it was it was like they took they took the good parts of, of two and three and kind of capitalized on them. But I mean, two is important if you if you want to get um, if you want to get all uh, Final Fantasy franchise nostalgia about it. Um, you know, it's it's important. It's important in that regard. But um, basically, if you're a masochist, go ahead, go play it because it's gameplay is pretty masochistic and. I don't know. I just didn't find the redeeming qualities to um, outweigh that. So that was just my opinion on it. And three was just like the main character was butts. I mean, obviously, yeah. Um, only out here um, did that, you know, give give everyone a chuckle. But so that that's kind of where I sit on those two games. Four and six uh, were the were the ones that I went to straight after Final Fantasy one or original Final Fantasy. I shouldn't even call it one because I'm miscalling it. But um. Four and six psh, blew them out of the water. Blew everything out of the water. Um, in again, my opinion. So that's where the news is at. Um, what do you what are you all thinking about that nine rainbow or nine K four guaranteed rainbows from 2019 event? Or um even this Final Fantasy two event. Are you excited about uh Furion and uh Leon? I am excited to save my lapis for Treasure Hunter Unlock and Prince Noctis, so this is great for me. Um, but, you know, if you're bummed, it, it is what it is, right? Oh, I did that thing, didn't I? Oh, I forgot to read something. Oh, get out of here. You, that's not my news, that's my rewards. Get out of here, rewards. Gosh. Um, I missed something, didn't I? The Cyclone. Far off in a different world, a young group holds the code word Wild Rose close to their hearts as they face an empire that rules through force. A massive cyclone stands between them and their destination. Wow, super dramatic. And we're collecting wild roses. Look at that. And exchange. So we have got a King Mog, Minister Mog event. Minister Mog event. Well, we can get diamond armor, and that will be lightning resistance, but only percent. And ice bow, which isn't as good as the bows I have. Wild rose warrior, um, also not good for me, but maybe for you. And then mage the same. Okay, but you can get USD. That's good to know. All right, guys, we're gonna be grinding another event. Um, we get bonuses by the two pullable five stars. Ooh, and our guy and Maria, which I keep using together and selling off. So I don't even know if I have anybody. I'm sure I have them. But I certainly don't have multiple of them. And I don't want multiple of them. Anytime they show up, I'm irritated. So whatever. Um, but take them along. Give them some use in their lives and um, get that King Mog stuff that we like to get. Um, hmm. Well, Malicious Monsters ends October 11th. That would be a week from Friday. So we still have another week on that one. I've been grinding like crazy. I'm still only like 9k event points in. But I have a ton of currency, so I'm not super worried about that. So I just have to get to the 30k mark. And then the cyclone event, alright, I can do that. It's like I'll see how far I can get on this until um until Friday when the cyclone comes out. Um what else? Oh yeah, I wanted to tell you. I wanted to, to keep you apprised of all of the happenings. Um Heartless Behemoth, that ends on Friday. Okay? So I've done it, which actually I still need to go back and get that four-star ticket. Um so get do the Heartless Behemoth um, before Friday so you don't miss out on those rewards. Nice uh, chunk of currency there. 
um, for that raid, that raid, that raid. Give me those characters. Okay. Um, Heartless Large Body also ends on 10 4, the raid. Um, so, the actual raid. So, anybody still working on that, keep that in mind. Um, and this is the other thing. This is the other PSA. So, the 40 million download quests, those end on 10 9, I think, which is next Wednesday. So, not this Wednesday, but next Wednesday. And I totally am super annoyed with myself because I didn't, um, I didn't get the, the things that you could get from the, oh, the monk's shield. That was the one that I didn't get. Um, because I didn't awaken the abilities enough to, to get the monk's shield. And then I didn't really know, I didn't know that it was ending so soon. I thought we had a little bit longer. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. So it's my own fault, but don't do that this time. Um, so right now I have all my 40 million download part two quests done except for the ability awakening one which i think is some sort of a gold key or silver key or something and then the mog slippers which do i mean they have kind of like me stats on defense and spirit but they do give you elemental plus 10 resistance to um apparently all element elements so that's something to think about if you think it might help you um but that's supposed to end next wednesday so pay attention to those if you haven't completed some of those things and if you want the rewards in there go for it Whew. all right um next oof. all right and so with that said i want to uh call your attention to another news item let's check it out a woman was gored by a bison in the same utah park yellowstone park as her date had been right that sounds weird right i had to i had to click on it and read it so a man who was gored by a bison in June took his date back to the same place, only for her to be also attacked. Tyler Bourgeois, I don't know, brought Kaylee Davis. By the way, these two are meant to be together because they share four of the same letters in their names. Um, they took her to the same trail at a state park, plans to watch the sunset, but like, ugh. Basically, it talks about how, you know, uh, he got gored, his lung got collapsed, and then he brought her back. She got a right ankle, I don't know, broke cast on it or something, broken ankle, goring, leg wound. Dude, don't go back. Why are you going back? Um, and then they talk about how, like, they're just kind of, like, spooked by these people. It's like, just, you know, the bison were spooked by cyclists, but, like... Guys, come on. Okay? Stay away from the bison. Wild animals. You know? There's something special. We love it. It's a great place, but now my fear level is high. Well, yes, your fear level is high because you're attacked. Um, and by the way, you know, in unrelated news or related news, the U.S. Park discourages bison selfies. So, there you have it. Stay, stay, keep your distance. Um, keep your distance from bison people. The selfie thing, the selfie thing that's causing people to die has got to stop. That's all I have to say about that. I guess I'm older than a lot of y'all, so I don't get the selfie thing. But um, I thought this was just, this was news wit, you know, worth relaying to anybody out there that needed a reminder to stay away from bison. So, hey, you heard it earlier last, and I'm just um, hoping y'all are safe out there. Um, that's pretty much it. So, um, cheers.